Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and I'm here with TV Stuff Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tuvnet camera. So if you guys saw my other video on the VR security camera, the Tuvnet camera is kind of like the same idea but um, I'm hoping it's going to work a little bit better. If you guys did not check out that video, I highly suggest it even though it was a zero star product. Um, I am very informed going into reviewing this product and I have better hopes. I hope that it works out a little bit better, um, but then again, anything can work out better than that. So we are going to open up this bad boy. Okay, so this is the box that it came in. On the top right here, it has like a device ID, password, and login so i'm sure that will come in handy later and this is what it looks like it has a similar body to the um vr camera however the camera on this looks a lot more advanced oh and it also comes with a remote as well as a usb and they also came with um some printed instructions that we will read together so already these instructions are a lot more thorough than the VR camera instructions. Those were literally like, install the app, connect it. And I was like, well, how? Um, so it says, if you don't have a Wi-Fi router, you may record video at micro SD card, but can't view real time video by smartphone. Um, so that's nice. If you want to like just put in a micro SD card and then check the footage later. That's why they gave you the USB, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy lamp again. Screw this baby in. So the name of this app is Tubnet Cam. Let's do, let's do register. Um, so I just put in the login and password that the box that it came on the box and I added my account and it says that it's here but it says it's offline. Click more button and select smart link. So there's a more button at the bottom right and I'm going to press smart link. Camera. Alright so it says turn the phone volume up and place close to the camera. Oh. Click the send configuration button. Then you have the successful voice remote from camera. Oh my god, why is that so loud? Oh. I find that to be very unnecessary. Why did I have to make that really loud noise? Like that was not okay. Not okay. <laughs> so the camera is supposed to make a dee 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 and it didn't. And I don't understand why because I followed all the directions. It's connected to non 5G Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm not having the greatest success with connecting this to the Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know if it's me or if it's my Wi-Fi or if it's just these products. It worked. I got a noise. I got a noise from the thing. All right, so now I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi again. All right, let's cross your fingers. It's online. I got it. Yes! Okay, so I finally got my device online. Oh my god, there I am. It works! That is a hideous angle though, but still. Okay, now what? What other things can I do with this? This gives me nothing about the different, like, settings or whatever. Okay, so... Let's see, that, we have the light, okay. Okay, so there I am. Hey, it's, uh, how do I turn the light off? Okay, so I just turned the light off. Um, hello? Make it stop. 
Whoa, I'm recording. So I pressed the record button, obviously. There's my whole face. Okay, so we can put the light on with the bottom left. I'm gonna turn that off. Um, I don't know what this button really is. I guess it's to view your captured images. Um, then we have the speaker. Then we have more camera. And we have the video. And then if you press the button all the way to the right, um, you can see it like in full, I guess. And then here's all of my pictures. Do anything or what? Okay, so my only thing is, I guess you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi in order to see what's happening. So that isn't very practical. I mean, you have to, your phone has to be connected to the same internet as the Tubnet cam. So if I'm like, if I install this as like a real security camera and I'm like trying to like see if someone broke into my house, but I have to be connected to the Wi-Fi at my house, it just doesn't make sense. Like that's not practical. So I can't see why I would ever really use this. Cause I was thinking like I would set this up as like a baby monitor sort of thing for my dog, but if if I can't like be out in the world, then what's the point? Okay, but while I am connected to the Wi-Fi, I am going to set this up to like view my dog and then we'll go outside and like see if it works. Okay, so I set up my Tubnet cam to see my dog, but I'm going to go outside and see how this works. <laughs> All right, so, I, so as I showed you guys, I set up my Tubnet cam like right in front of my dog's crate and um, I'm just gonna play around on the app and see what happens. So I'm trying to like zoom in and like see what these things mean. It's like very delayed. It's very delayed because I'm not like close to the router, I guess. And like, like I said, this just doesn't seem practical because why would I ever want a security camera that I need to be connected to the Wi-Fi? It just doesn't make any sense. And there's no way that you can go offline, or at least not to my understanding. Okay, and then let's put on the speaker and let's see if she like reacts. Basil? Can she hear me? Basil? <gasps> she heard me. Oh my gosh. Hi, Basil. Basil! <gasps> she did like the little head tilt. Oh, I love her. And then I guess I can... But you can hear. The only thing is you can't have talk and listen on at the same time. And it's kind of annoying to switch it. Basil! Basil! She could definitely hear me, so that, that feature definitely works, but you don't, obviously, from what we saw before, you don't want, like, the talk and listen devices, so your phone and the Tubnet cam to be too close because the frequencies, it just, ah, that was painful. What's also annoying is that every time it goes offline, so, like, if I accidentally turned off the lamp, or I guess if I unplugged it to move it, you have to go through this, like, setting up the Wi-Fi every single time with that annoying beeping, like, that is very unnecessary. It couldn't have just been like a beep. It had to be like, nah, nah, nah. no, it's just it, unnecessary. Okay, so my Tubnet cam randomly decided to just disconnect. I think I accidentally, like when I was trying to adjust the angle, um, I accidentally unscrewed it from the lamp and therefore disconnected it. And it just doesn't seem to want to connect again. And frankly, I'm just, fed up with these security cameras because um, they're not just, they're just not doing what they say they should and I also do, don't find them practical. Like I've said so many times, I don't understand why I would want a security camera that has, that only works with live streaming if 
I am connected to my Wi-Fi on my phone. Like I could never leave the house. It just doesn't make sense to me. However, this camera was a lot easier. The instructions were a lot more clear on how to set up and how to work than the VR IP light bulb camera that I got off of Amazon. So I would recommend this one over that one. Um, but at the same time, I ha really wouldn't recommend either of these products um, because of how many times can I say it. This one, I was at least able to connect to the Wi-Fi with um, less hassle. Um, I still had a little bit of hassle and um, the video was clear, the microphone was pretty clear, the speaker is pretty clear. Um, it's cool that you're able to see like different angles. Um, you can't adjust the angle like from unless you really manually adjust it. Um, so again, if for, for whatever reason you would need to like turn the camera angle while you're not at home, um, you're really unable to do that. I couldn't really figure out how to get the alarm to work. Uh, I don't, you know, and it keeps going off lines and it's really annoying to connect because of that like piercing beeping it's just so unnecessary and so it makes me not want to like work with this product and figure it out because it's just so annoying so um i'm going to have to give this product a one out of five stars um because i was able to get it to work but i wasn't able to get it to work fully and frankly i don't know how to figure it out because the instructions don't really offer more. I mean, after you connect, it just says like, you can check the list of Tubnet cam connected to your smartphone and that's it. The instructions don't offer any information on like the settings of the camera, like the brightness and how to like, like what the buttons mean. And like most of them I was able to figure out, but I'm sure there's some things that I'm missing. Like maybe there is a way to use this camera without being connected to your Wi-Fi, but I don't think so based on what I've received. So one out of five stars I think is, you know, pretty a accurate for what this is. So that is it for my Tubnet Cam review. Um, I'm, I really wish that this product worked a little bit better. I was kind of excited for these, but unfortunately it is what it is. Um, I have, I feel like I have exhausted all of my options again. And these products are just frankly starting to annoy me. But if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more reviews as well as checking out tvstuffreviews.com for more reviews and product information. You can follow me personally at That Girl Claws on all of my social media. It is always linked in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon for another review. Bye!